In today's video, we'll be checking out the Preferred Languages plugin. With it, you could display your website in multiple languages or a specific preferred language, and you could also set the order of translations that you want WordPress to attempt to load. The plugin isn't perfect though. It auto translates without letting you set custom translations, and it also changes the dashboard language. But for the effort required, it's still a great option for many WordPress users. Now, if you're looking to only translate your dashboard, you don't actually need a plugin for that. Go to settings, general, then scroll down to site language and choose your preferred dashboard language from the drop down menu. With that covered, let's switch over to the preferred languages plugin. Go to settings, general, and you'll see the site language section. Use the drop down menu to select the languages you want your website translated into. You can then move the languages up or down to set the full back chain or remove them from the list. Once you're finished, make sure to click save changes on the bottom left of the screen. Otherwise your preferred languages won't be saved. And there you go. It's really as simple as that. Keep in mind though, that this plugin uses auto translation, meaning the translations will probably be understandable, but they won't necessarily be 100% accurate. If you prefer, you can always use a different plugin, which allows self-translation. However, this process takes a lot of time and expertise, although the translations will be of higher quality. Now, it is worth mentioning that you shouldn't translate your website just because you can. If you're not getting a lot of traffic from other countries, remember that translating your website isn't a great marketing method. Focus on your target audience. Growing your traffic only matters if you're attracting the right kind of traffic. If you translate your store to French, will you be able to provide customer support in French too? If you've ever seen a website that seemed auto translated to English, think about how that made you feel. Was it a turnoff for you? If so, then maybe you shouldn't be doing that to your website when it comes to other languages. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.